Hi, Paul here, owner of Diode Dynamics, and today I want to talk a little bit about the tech going into the new SL2 Pro LED bulb. Now, the SL2 Pro uses just the newest generation of LED components and technology throughout to build the best bulb possible. And one of those is the new TST, or Thermal Separation Technology LED. So let's talk about it. What makes that so special, unique, and innovative? When it comes to LED bulbs, overall, we're trying to get as much light possible out of a very small bulb. And as we've learned over the years, we also want that emitting area where the light's coming from to be as small as possible to mimic the original tungsten filament. The tungsten filament in your original halogen bulb is very small, and that little coil of wire is what the headlight is designed around to focus and shine the light. If you don't shine light from that small space, the light's gonna be out of focus and it won't be really useful to have on the road and it'll cause extra glare. Now the first LED bulb manufacturers really didn't care about this. They put large LEDs on their bulbs and they were out of focus. They made light, but they were out of focus. One advantage of that though, was because the LEDs are so big, they have a lot of surface area to actually push the heat through to the circuit board and out of the bulb. The bigger the LED is, the more surface area comes in contact with the circuit board, so the more heat can come out quickly. As we try to make the emitting point smaller to get better performance, that space shrinks, and now we gotta get heat through to the circuit board in a much smaller space. That presents some serious challenges. One other factor that makes this really challenging is that with LED bulbs, they're two-sided, and that's because LEDs are directional. Unlike a filament that shines light in all directions, LEDs shine only about 180 degrees. That means we have to put them on opposing sides of the same circuit board. When you have heat on both sides, that makes it even harder, doubles the problem to get that heat out. So to help with that, some manufacturers actually designed pretty wide uh, areas between each side that they can put a larger circuit board. The wider the circuit board is, the easier it is to get that heat from the LEDs. But again, that causes problems because it's not just about how small the surface area is, we also want to get these quite close together. Now there is a limit to that. We don't want to be, you know, just zero width because there is that filament width to match. The bigger it is, the easier it is to get heat out, but it starts putting it out of focus again. So as technology progressed, we had more manufacturers going to bulbs where we actually just have a single circuit board and the LEDs are mounted to either side. You can see how much thinner that one is compared to this, meaning that this should provide a better output. We also did it with this, this with our SL1, with only a one millimeter circuit board, really thin together, so that we had the best performance possible with the technology at the time. But again, when you try to get a lot of power from the LED chips into the circuit board, even with a solid copper circuit board like this, the best thermal conductivity possible, it's really hard. You can't just keep putting heat in there because you just can't pull it away from those LEDs fast enough. That brings us to thermal separation technology. To understand what that is, we need to learn a little bit about how LEDs work. All LEDs require a positive and negative connection to actually operate, known as an anode and a cathode. Traditionally, this is on the bottom of the LED chip, and on the top side, the light shines out. Now, with high-power LEDs, a lot of manufacturers will add a thermal slug or a pad on the bottom of the LED. This is not connected to anything electrical, and instead, it allows that thermal energy to come out directly to the circuit board because we can solder it right there to just get that heat out. So, on the bottom of a lot of new LEDs, we've got our anode, cathode, and a whole slug for just the thermal energy. But this presents some problems because we have a limited space to work with, especially for really small LEDs. We have to make room for that anode and cathode along with the thermal slug. And even worse, on the actual circuit board, we basically have to run the wires or the traces to the LED. That takes up some valuable real estate where we could otherwise focus on getting the thermal energy out. And that's what the thermal separation technology allows. We actually separate the electrical and the thermal pads by putting the electrical anode and cathode on the top of the LED chip. 
That allows us to use the entire bottom side of the LED for thermal energy instead. And even better, the whole circuit board doesn't need to have a path cut out where those electrical wires need to run to the chip anymore. We can use just a solid copper circuit board with no other connections on it to get a lot of thermal energy out of the entire bottom side of that LED chip. This provides a huge upgrade in how much total output we can run just because we're no longer building up thermal energy in the LED, we're dissipating it out right away. For this reason, the SL2 Pro can be the most compact high power bulb on the market today by leveraging this new technology. We keep it cool still with the fan, but the LED chip is not the main bottleneck where that thermal energy builds up. This keeps it cool, keeps it running for years to come at a very high output level. So you can see, that's the benefits of this thermal separation technology with the new TST LEDs available on the new SL2 Pro. We love talking LED tech here at Diodynamics, so please feel free to comment or offer any questions, suggestions, and we'll be happy to talk more. For now, thanks for watching.